Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to May the 18th's very short video with a heads up about the conjunction that is happening now as we speak between our fiery planet Mars, our god of energy, action, of assertion, of war, conjunct the planet Neptune. They are both in Pisces. Now, Neptune, my big boy here, is quite a mysterious energy. He can be secrets. He can be what's unseen, what is mysterious. Neptune can also be poisons. He can be chemicals. He can be drowning in the depths of the oceans. Those are some of the dark sides of Neptune. But, you know, the, the, the combined dark sides of both Mars as the god of war and Neptune as this boundaryless, on the ocean, deep down kind of energy. And let's not forget that Jupiter, my other big boy or one of my big boys, who expands everything, has moved into Aries. Aries is also about, it's the first sign of the zodiac. It's all about energy and let's go and let's do this and look at me. And why I bring this up is that Jupiter is still in what we call an out of sign conjunction with both Neptune and now Mars, who has come up to conjunct Neptune. Now, this Pisces energy could potentially be very interesting. So I just want you to keep in your heads, in your minds, that whether it's on a personal level or on a on a bigger world stage we might see we might see flooding we might see severe weather events and we might see incidents at sea which are not very um good and you know i think about the the um, eastern europe situation again and the conflict with Ukraine, because it'll be interesting to see what is happening in that area of the Black Sea where Ukraine is still trying to hold on to um, its, you know, at least one port. Um, I, I believe Ukraine still has its hands on Odessa, so let's hope that continues. But Mars, what I want to say is Mars drowns in Pisces. Mars, Mars is a fire planet. Mars rules Aries. Mars is energy. So Mars's energy gets diluted in this sign of Pisces. Mars drowns. The other thing that Neptune interestingly represents is viruses. So Neptune was kind of quite um, important when COVID and the pandemic first kicked off. Neptune was aspected for that to be around. Neptune can also be chemicals and poisons. It can also represent the vaccine, which is quite interesting. So I just think it's important to keep an eye out on news headlines around these few days, because let's see what Mars is going to trigger in any of those kind of areas to do with Neptune. And the other interesting thing to think about with this energy is that because, as I said, Jupiter is expanding what happens, then on a personal level, you need to be aware if you're feeling, for instance, under the weather, if you're just not feeling that great and you're still in the kind of energy as we are of the full moon lunar eclipse that's happened on the 16th of May in Scorpio, if you're still in that energy of feeling a little bit kind of out of sorts and, and quite frankly eclipsed, then pay attention to this Mars-Neptune and don't um, don't overtire yourself. Rest. Take time out. You know, if we respect and honour 
the energies of the cosmos. They really work with us to help us proceed forward on our respective paths. So that's today's Heads Up. There will be more at various points throughout the rest of the month and into June and then onwards and onwards and upwards. So in the meantime, thank you so much for staying and having a little listen to this Heads Up. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.